بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شابتر 7 كسمة دريفن ماركتنج استراتيجي كرياتنج فاليو فور تارجت كاستمر This is a marketing secret كسمة دريفن ماركتنج استراتيجي Creating value for your target customer. To create value uh, for your target customer, you should divide a market into smaller segments. We're speaking about market segmentation. And you should select the right segment to go after. It's targeting. And you should offer different market offering for a different segment you target. I mean differentiation. And finally, put your market offering in the right place in a customer mind. I'm speaking about positioning. <coughs> Segmentation. Divide the total market into smaller segments because our market is a large heterogeneous market. So we should divide it into smaller segments. Targeting means evaluating and selecting the segment or segments to enter. Differentiation, I mean differentiate our market offering to create superior customer value. Positioning, I mean position the market offering in the minds of our target customer. Why we divide the market into smaller segments? The answer is a very simple answer, because our market is a large, complex, heterogeneous market. Actually, it's markets, so we should divide it into smaller segments. What's market targeting? Targeting means evaluating and selecting the segment to serve. What we evaluate? We evaluate a segment attractiveness. A segment attractiveness. Three, differentiation involves actually differentiating the firm's market offering to create superior customer value. Why we should differentiate our market offering? Because we targeting different segments. So I should offer at least one offer for each segment we targeted. And the final positioning consists of arranging the market offering to occupy a clear, distinctive and desirable base relative to competing products in the minds of target customer. One, market segmentation. What's market segmentation? We said that market segmentation, it's dividing a market into smaller segments with distinct need characteristics or behaviors that might require a separate marketing strategy. Strategies or this is the market segmentation basis, grouping into four groups, geographic base, demographic base, psychographic, and the finite behavior. When we speak about geographic base, we are speaking about geographic, geographic cities, states, regions, countries, whatever. When we speak about demographic, the most popular base for market segmentation, we are speaking about age, life cycle, gender, income, education, occupation, religion, and so on. What psycho psychographic basis? We are speaking about social class, lifestyle, and personality. And finally, what's behavior base? It's a group of bases. Uh, contains uh, occasions, benefits, use of states, use, usage rate, and the rate states. We are segmenting our consumer market. We are not caring about the other type of uh, segmentation like business or international marketing. We are focused here on a segmentation, con segmenting consumer markets. We said that we can use a geographic base, demographic base, demographic base, psychographic base, and behavior base or behavior segmentation, occasion, benefits, 
usage rate and so on. Can we use Dr. A single base for market segmentation? Our answer, no, we cannot use a single base. Why we cannot use a single base for market segmentation? Because when we use a, a single base, we cannot see our target segment well. I cannot see my segment to, uh, to construct a marketing mix for it. So we should use a multiple base, a multiple segmentation basis, a multiple segmentation basis. Segmenting business market out of our course, segmenting international markets also, we don't care about. Okay, requirements for effective segmentation. To set that you divide the market in a right way, your segmentation basis should be measurable, your segment should be accessible, your segment should be substantial, I mean large enough, differentiatable, I mean different market segments, and actionable, take action based on the segmentation basis. Measurable, accessible, substantial, differentiatable, and actionable. The second secret in creating more uh, value for our target customer is targeting. Targeting consists of two things to evaluate and to select. What's target market? It's a set of buyers who share a common need or common characteristics. We decide to serve, we decide to enter. We should evaluate the market segment's attractiveness, and then we should, and then we should select the right segment to go after or to choose a targeting strategy. Step one: evaluating a market segments. How to evaluate a segment attractiveness? To evaluate the segment attractiveness, we should we should measure or consider a segment size, the number of customers, purchasing power, the number of competitors, how much is are strong, a segment growth rate. And also we should consider a segment structure. I mean about I, I speak about a demand sustainability and the finally a company objectives and resources. It means that not all large or fast growing segments are always attractive. Maybe it contains a very strong competitors. And we should consider our segment structure to be sure that our, our demand in our segment is sustainable. And we should know about our competitors, the number of how much they are strong. For sure, we should measure a product substitute in our target customer in order to evaluate the segment attractiveness. Step two, selecting a target market segment. Here, we should decide which segment will we go after. If we target the whole market with one market offering, we are speaking about undifferentiated targeting strategy undifferentiated targeting strategy, or mass marketing, or total marketing, or universal approach. It's undifferentiated marketing, targets the whole market with one market offering, focusing on uh, common needs rather than what's different, using an undifferentiated marketing or mass marketing strategy, a firm, might decide to ignore market segment differences and target the whole market with one market offering. We should focus here uh, what's common in a need, in the need of consumer rather than what's different. And uh, here it's differentiated marketing strategy. Differentiated means target several different market segments. 
with and the design separate offers for each segment we target. The goal of that to achieve a higher sales and a stronger position in a customer mind. More expensive than undifferentiated marketing strategy for sure because we are offering different market, offering for a different segment we target. Concentrated means targeting strategy means target a small share of a large market. Maybe for a limited company resources or knowledge of the market or more if searching for a more efficient and effective way to reach your target segment. Okay. It's not important and also it's not important. Choosing a target market to choose undifferentiated or differentiated or concentrated um, concentrated targeting strategy we should uh, uh, take this decision based on or depends on a company resources a product viability how many offer can we offer product life cycle stage and the market variability I mean uh, if our customer consider how I differentiate our market offering, and finally we should look at a competitive marketing strategy. Differentiation and the positioning. The last step in creating value for our target customer, differentiation and the positioning. I mean differentiate our market offering to the, to offer different um, a different market offering for a for a different segments and positioning and positioning means uh, position our market offering uh, in a customer mind okay positioning based on two factors two major factors and also a three unmeasurable factors the two major factors it's benefits and the prices. And three unmeasurable factors, it's perception, impression, feelings. So to choose a differentiation and the positioning strategy, we should first identify a set of possible competitive advantage to build a position. It's choosing the right competitive advantage, selecting an overall positioning strategy, and finally communicating and delivering the chosen position to the market. Step one, identify a set of possible competitive advantage to build a position. What's competitive advantage? It's, adva it's an advantage over competitors gained by offering co consumer greater value either through lower price or by providing more benefits that justify higher price. So we can we can differentiate our market offering through product differentiation, service differentiation, channel differentiation, people differentiation and the image differentiation. And we should select one, three, four uh, 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 factors of the competitive advantage. I mean, we should choose the right competitive advantage. The right competitive advantage means it's an important advantage, distinctive advantage, superior advantage, communicable advantage, primitive advantage, affordable advantage and profitable advantage. So we should select the right which, uh, which competitive advantage I will deliver or speak about to my customer. It should be important, distinctive, superior, communicable, and purposeful. Three, selecting an overall positioning strategy. I mean valuable position. I mean a valuable position. 
due to, to determine uh, 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 the position the company can occupy, we use two dimensions, benefits and the prices. If we offer if we offered our customer more benefits and taking more price, it's a first position, more for more. If we offer our customer more benefits and taking the same competitors' prices, it's more for the same. If we offered our customer more benefits for yes price, it's more for yes. When we offer our customer same benefit for yes price, it's the same for yes. And when we offer our customer yes benefits for much less price, it is yes for much yes. So we should select uh, uh, an overall positioning strategy. It could be more for more. More for the same, same for yes, yes for much yes, and more for yes. And finally, we should deliver our positioning, uh, 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 a chosen position to our customer. I mean, now we should communicate and delivering the chosen position. Once it has chosen a position, the company must take strong steps to deliver and communicate that desired position to into to its target customers. Thank you, my student, and see you in the next chapter.